What's up guys? Okay, so popping in here before this video actually starts because I was debating even uploading this video because watching it back and editing it back, I am so, so excited um, about this trip and about wearing all of these outfits that I styled. Um, and unfortunately, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys wouldn't know my luggage was lost. Um, I didn't wear probably, I think I wore maybe two of these outfits, um, maybe two or three of these outfits um, from this video um, because I didn't have my luggage. So I'm still uploading it because I feel like it's good inspo for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just want to pop in here and say that because I felt so weird about re-uploading this video after editing it and realizing that uh, yeah, I didn't wear any of these outfits and I yeah, so that's just my spiel What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here. Hello, I'm Keaton Today's video is going to be a pack with me for Colorado. It is a pack with me slash style with me So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below You guys can also follow me on my Instagram and Twitter because as you guys can tell from this video I'm going on a trip. I am going to Vail, Colorado, which is Really, really cold right now. I'm going with Milk Makeup, so thank you to Milk Makeup for bringing me, uh, which I will have a vlog of my trip from um, Colorado going up on this channel, so don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see that. But if you have never seen a pack with me slash style with me, there are videos that I do when I'm going on a trip that I really want to like pack cute outfits and just kind of like style on camera with you guys. So I laid out a bunch of my favorite pieces. I have coats, pants, shirts, whatever. And so basically I'm just gonna be trying on the outfits on camera and I kind of like when you guys comment down below and say, oh, I loved this outfit or maybe you could style it with this. So it just gives me a little bit of inspo. I also feel like this video can maybe help some of you guys if you guys are going on a trip. It's kind of how I like to style my clothes, what I like to wear. Um, on trips like this. So yeah, I feel like I rarely go somewhere cold. This is gonna be really, really fun, and I bought some cool pieces that I'm very excited about wearing. So if you guys wanna keep watching, just stick around. All right, so you guys will be able to automatically tell my vibe of what I'm going for for this trip. So for this trip, one of my favorite things to do, what's easiest for me, and what I normally wear in my day-to-day -day life is I love wearing shades of nude, brown, and white like all together. I love an all nude look and that is when I feel most comfortable. So going on brand trips and things like that where I'm around a lot of people that I don't know, I always wanna pack clothes that I know I feel most confident in. And for me, that is like neutrals, nudes, um, not anything too bold. So that's kind of what I'm going for with this trip, so you guys will be able to tell. I have all nudes here, like literally everything that I have is brown, neutral, even my shoes, they're all brown and neutral. That's just my vibe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on the first outfit for you guys. I have an itinerary, so I'm gonna read off the itinerary so that I have an outfit for each occasion. And we get there, I think, around like the afternoon or something. Maybe it's like two o'clock or five o'clock, I don't really know. But we get there and then the first thing we have is a dinner with everybody. It says um, that we have dinner and then there's fireside s'mores by the pool. So what I'm thinking to do is I want to get a photo of like right when I get to the hotel in like a cute little like airport outfit. So. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit that I specifically bought um, for the airport. All right, I'm bringing you guys a little lower so you guys can see, but I bought this set. It is from Zara. It's really, really soft, but it is just a matching turtleneck and sweatpants. I'm wearing a gray like sports bra under this, or I'm wearing a black sports bra under this, but I won't be when like the actual time comes. I'll be wearing like a white one so you guys won't be able to see through, but up close, if you guys can tell on camera, it's kind of a heathered feel. Like it's not um, just like white. It has a heathered gray, but not gray. It's like tan, white, neutral. And so the pants are just these matching oh, flare pants. I wish I could show you guys the full outfit better, but they're these cute little like flare pants. And so what I wanted to wear um, with this outfit was these really fun boots. I bought these from Pretty Little Thing forever ago and they're supposed to be just like combat boots. I wore them one time, I believe to Coachella, which they're very comfortable and they're just really, really fun to style because I'm not doing anything super serious when I land or anything like that. I felt like I wanted to have a cute airport outfit just so I could travel cute and arrive to the hotel and get like a cute photo in it. So I'm gonna put these boots on. 
Ugh. Also, if you guys are wondering, the temperature that I read in Vail, Colorado, it's currently like 12 degrees there. So that's a very big change to me. I don't adjust well to the cold. So this, like all of these outfits are gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's so excessive. But for someone who lives in Arizona, I can't like do the cold very well at all. So yeah. Anyway, this is the first outfit. It's gonna be like this. And then I have, I have this trench coat type thing. It is like a teddy fur trench coat, but it's not, I don't know. I know that these, this texture or whatever is called teddy. So it's gonna be just nude on here with this. I wanna just pair it because I don't wanna have to pack this trench. This is very, very comfy for the airport. Like, first of all, these feel like pajamas. I'll probably wear leggings under the pants to keep me even more warm and then fuzzy socks under the boots. And then the little trench. And then I've been really wanting to do the whole like headband style lately. I really like the way it looks and I thought about doing it because in, oh, in Colorado, your ears are gonna be really cold if you don't like have something to cover them. And I don't really want to wear a hat on the plane or anything like that. So I thought that whew, this would be such a cute look. But tell me if it's, I feel like this is cute, right? Like if I just give a little um, headband moment to my hair and it covers my ears to keep them warmer. Like this is so fun. So this is like a better look at it, but basically this is like the little nude turtleneck. Oh, I got makeup all down it, that's okay. And then I've got the trench, I've got my headband, the pants that also are like flare on the bottom and go with the nude boots, which I really love. So again, the whole look is neutral. All of my outfits are all going to be neutral. I feel like these are a little too high. They're giving me a weird like camel toe thing, but this is gonna be the look for just the airport, getting to the hotel. I know it's a little excessive, but I also feel like I wanna pack both of these because I can wear the pants with a different outfit and the turtleneck with a different outfit, so yeah. All right, so for the second outfit, this would be how I'm gonna transition my like airport simple outfit to a nighttime outfit. I feel like this is like a good tip for any of you guys. It's just a really easy way to dress stuff up. So this is obviously the same uh, top and pants I was just wearing, except for I basically just took it and folded the top under, and then I'm just tucking it in my bra. Obviously, this is not something I would wear like out in 12 degree weather, but we're going to a dinner inside, um, and I believe it's going to be in the hotel, so there's really no need for me to like try and bundle my body up, but I still wanna be like cozy and cute. And then I paired a little blazer over it. So same pants, same top, and I paired a little blazer over it. This is from Tiger Mist. I, um, I unfortunately don't think that they sell it anymore, but I'm not kidding. Every single time I wear it, I get so many compliments. I feel like there definitely has to be a dupe somewhere. I'll try and link one down below if I find one, but like this camel color is insane, like it's beautiful. Um, and then the next tip is to dress it up with your shoes so I have these booties I'll show you guys in the mirror all right so these are the booties that I have you guys can see they're around the same exact color as the blazer I feel like these just dress Ooh, I'm hitting everything I feel like these just dress the outfit up a little bit more like even though this is very casual pants very casual top with the blazer with the booties I think it's really really cute one day is down the second day we are going in the morning we're gonna have breakfast in our rooms which is really nice so I won't need an outfit for breakfast the second thing we're doing is going snowmobiling which I've never done before I'm very nervous about it but I think it'll be really fun so that is actually um, something that I am like really nervous about because I'm gonna be really cold I like I said I don't function well in the cold I feel like I'm being dramatic but like I really don't like I just I really don't so I'm pushing myself on this trip to go out into the snow and so I actually have an entire like full-on ski suit and like gear for that so the outfit I'm about to show you is what I'm going to be wearing for the snowmobiling after the snowmobile we are going to have free time and then I have a photo shoot with milk makeup um, and then we have dinner so basically all I need is my ski outfit a daytime free time outfit that I will most likely wear to the photo shoot and then a 
dinner outfit. Okay, so I'll most likely obviously wear like a sweatshirt or a crew neck or something underneath this. I'm wearing my sweatpants right now, but like I would probably wear a sweatshirt underneath this just to stay extra warm. But, oh my gosh, this ski suit is killing me. Okay, this is it, <laughs> zipped up. <gasps> I'm screaming. It has a little buckle. What I like about this, since it's obviously not that flattering, what I like about this is that it has like gold, so all of the stuff is gold detailing, like on the buttons, on the zipper, on the belt, it's all gold, which I like because I bought these mood boots and I bought these um, just because I was like, I don't do well in the cold, as I've said 45,000 times in this video, and my feet are the first thing to like literally freeze other than my ears. My ears are the first thing to freeze and then it's like my feet and I can't function. So I was like, I need to get something very sturdy and these are like hefty. If you guys have ever worn moon boots, they are like insulation station. They're so bomb. So I got these because not only are they really, really good, but they come in tons of different colors and they're nude, which is my theme. And so yeah, that's what I got. Here is the outfit. Look at my boots. Okay, I'll show them to you. They are beautiful nude snow boots. Ooh -hoo. My suit's too big. It doesn't go in the moon boots, so that's unfortunate. I literally look so large, but I feel like it literally isn't going to matter because this is just to keep me warm. I would rather be warm than like super cute. Um, and so if I'm snowmobiling, this is what I'm gonna wear because that's what I need to wear. I've got one glove on, so I'm gonna wear gloves with this and then I think that's basically that, that's it. Okay, so going off of after we go snowmobiling, we have kind of like a lounge time, we have free time, we can either go into Vail and explore, we can stay at the hotel, go swimming, we can do whatever. So I'm throwing in a casual outfit for this I am wearing this top, it's from Aloe Yoga, so it's actually a workout top, but it's really cute because it's white long sleeve mesh, and then the underneath of it is nude. And then I have these sweatpants, these are from Aritzia, they're the boyfriend sweatpants, and I feel like I get them in a, wait a second, look, I get them in a medium. Um, so they have a loose fit, the small, I hate when um, sweatpants bunch up on my thighs and like my butt. So I get a medium in these sweatpants. They're really, really simple and easy to wear. So what I like about this outfit is that if I want to with the sweatpants, I can wear ooh, the moon boots. Um, that's just like if we're walking around outside or we're like going somewhere, I'll want to wear the moon boots just to give me a little bit more warmth. And then I can layer this outfit up with like more comfy clothes. So this is a puffer that I'm in love with. This is from Zara and it is just this really adorable puffer. It's so warm, so cozy. Um, and so I'm thinking that I could always just throw this over. I'm obviously gonna wear leggings underneath the sweatpants. I understand that I'm wearing a crop top and it's going to be in the snow. But keep in mind, I don't like the snow, so for the most part, I'm gonna be staying inside. If I go to Vail and I go in stores or something, I'm going to be in the car on the way to Vail and like in stores at restaurants or shopping. I'm not necessarily going to be doing a lot of outside activity, so I don't feel like it's that necessary for me to be like completely strapped up at all times. But in case I wanna be, I have this puffer. I've also got sweatpants, the boots, and this could be a really fun, cozy look. On top of that, if I wanted to, I have this t-shirt from Brandy and it just says cowboys on it. I love this. I always get compliments on this from you guys. I was thinking, oh, got a little stuck. I was thinking I could throw this t-shirt on with the sweatpants. This is very, very cozy, simple. I love a good like oversized tee look especially with the long sleeve underneath it. I think it's really, really fun, but I would probably, oh, most definitely not wear the snow boots. I would wear my hiking boots. I call these hiking boots because that's more what they look like. So I'd wear these with the top. So for this outfit, I'm just gonna pair 
different tops with the sweatpants. So just depending on what me and Hallie decide to do, I can be like, oh, okay, I'll throw the puffer on or I'll throw the t-shirt on, whatever I feel like. For this next outfit, I'm thinking I want to do the puffer for dinner. So that night we're gonna go to like a nice little dinner. I think it's going to be sushi. So I'm wearing my favorite leather pants. Actually, I'll bring the camera down. I'm wearing my favorite leather pants. I'm obsessed with them. Again, they're from Tiger Mist, but I think they no longer sell them. But they really are the best. Like, I'm so sorry for not available anymore but they're so good and then I'm wearing the nude puffer on top of it I kept this t-shirt on because I don't know what to wear with this I feel like I need to dress this outfit up a little bit more I just feel like if we're gonna go to like sushi and it's gonna be like a cute little like dinner setting I want to dress it up more I don't know if I should maybe do a, like a bodysuit or all right, so I can't really come up with another top for that other outfit, so I'm just kind of gonna let it go and just pack the leather pants and then turtlenecks and like basic tees just in case, because I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. But I'm skipping ahead. So the next day, all we have that day is facials, and then we also have dinner at night. So I'm skipping the facials portion um, of the outfits, and I'm just gonna show you guys what I think I wanna wear at night. So I have, Actually, now that it's on, I hate it, bye. I'm now realizing I really don't like the cardigan with it that much, but what I do like and what I for sure wanna do for one dinner is I have these white Gucci tights and I wanna wear them underneath my jeans so that they have kind of like a, just like a little, I don't know, it just looks cute having like the little Gucci logo at the top of the jeans and it kind of cinches my waist in a little bit more. So I wanna wear the tights with the jeans, but I'm not really feeling the cardigan as much. I feel like it looks too like basic. Okay, I changed tops. I wasn't feeling that. So I have this top, which is from Princess Polly. I love it because it's cropped, but it's got like this really fun collar at the top of it that you just like fold over. It's really cute. I think with jewelry, this is a look. I feel like I need to break up the nude vibe and just throw in a color black. Um, and so now I'm gonna show you, I guess, what I would wear with this jacket wise. I will most likely wear this trench coat. I think this will be the warmest. Again, we're gonna be inside for dinner. It's not like I'm gonna be outside like, what's up, we're in the snow. I'm gonna be inside for dinner in this, so I don't think I'll really be that cold. I think I'll be able to live because this is very cozy. So now I'm gonna show you guys what the shoes look like with these jeans because I just love the way it looks. All right, so this is the look without the jacket. I've got the top, I've got the Gucci tights under these jeans, which are one of my favorites. They're from Subi. And then I've got the heels. So I really like this because it is a little weird. Like I feel like most people would not like wear the Gucci tights with the nude heel but I feel like it's kind of fun. I just feel like it gives it something different. It's a different way to style heels, especially because I really wanna keep my toes warm. Um, and so I wanna be able to wear the tights and the heels. So this is the full like look. Actually, I'll put the jacket on and show you. Especially with the jacket, I think this is so fun and so cute just for like a casual, cute little dinner vibe. We've got the little teddy coat. We've got the Gucci tights. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite little like dinner looks. This is going to be the last outfit that I'm gonna show you because after this, we're gonna pack it all up um, just because I feel like I've got enough clothes um, for just a few days. I know I kind of like to pack a little bit differently than most people just because I like to have like at least three to four outfits a day. I like to just have my options um, in case I ever change my mind. So this outfit is the same exact outfit I showed you guys for um, going on the airport, but it is in brown. So I've got the turtleneck. This turtleneck is a little bit longer than the other one. So I can either like tuck it into the pants, Ugh. but you can clearly see the lines of it. So I feel like what I will most likely do is just kind of like tuck it in the back, like fold it and tuck it under in the back. And then I've got the puffer to go with it if I wanna just layer the puffer on top. Really, really simple. And then this would be for one of the days we are gonna just like be hanging out and we're gonna get a facial and there's another day where we have yoga, very like casual, comfy day. So that's why I wanna just wear these pants with the turtleneck 
keeping it very simple and cozy just because I know for night times I'll be able to dress up. The only two extra things that I am gonna pack just in case are these silk dresses. You guys have seen these a bunch, but this is from Princess Polly. It's just a silk white cream dress. Very long, very comfy and flattering and cute. I feel like if I am like in a very bad mood and I start to put on the jeans and the Gucci or like I start to put on one of the outfits like the leather pants or something and I hate it, this is a go-to for me. Just throwing on a long um, slip dress. It is a little bit dressier, which I really like. So it's just as dressy and both of these would work. They're both from Princess Polly, just nude cream dresses. I think it'll be very simple in case uh, worse comes to worse and I change my mind on my outfits. I'll be able to have these as options. All right, so this is my suitcase I am bringing. This is the beige suitcase that I have. I love it. It's by Shea Mitchell's brand. Um, someone actually commented that the word that this is, I always say beige, but I know that's not how you say it, is actually beige in another language. So I just say this is the beige suitcase. But um, yeah, this is what I have. So over here, I like to keep all of my clothes because it has these bars in here. If I try and pack shoes and toiletries on this side, they're always like obstructed and don't fit in there. So this side is where I'm gonna keep my shoes. So mainly all of this is going to be full of like the heavy snow stuff. I've got my moon boots. I also folded up my uh, ski suit. I put it over there. So that's basically what's gonna stay here. I'll probably add the other shoes onto this side along with my toiletries. I really don't wanna fill this side up too much. I know I had a lot of clothes, but I promise when I pack them it won't be as much. But I don't wanna fill this side too much because I am getting some other snow gear when I get there from Milk, I know that they're gonna provide us some, so I wanna be able to pack all the things that I get while I'm there in here, so I wanna leave room. All right, so this is what my packed bag looks like. I've packed my hoodie in here, I've got my sweatpants underneath, I've got the leather pants outfit, the blazer, I've got an extra shirt, two extra shirts, I've got the athleisure outfits under there for yoga, I've got my tights, I've got heels, I packed an extra pair of booties in case I am just too cold and I don't want to wear the heels. I can always wear the booties, so I packed booties. Um, I have all of these little casual outfits ready to go. And then on this side, like I said, in this zipper, I've got my gloves and headbands. And then over here, I have got, like I said, the ski suit over here tucked away. I've got the moon boots. And then I packed all of my makeup in this. This actually matches my... Um, luggage so it's the same brand and it's like a little Ziploc bag but it actually has zippers on both sides so then you just kind of fit it in there nice and then I've got this makeup brush holder um, and then I packed the things that milk sent over to us this is a hand warmer I've got this little eye patch some other milk makeup over here so I packed all the goods in there so this is basically done the only thing I'll add on top of this is my toiletries but I can't pack those until tonight so yeah, everything is basically packed. Milk makeup also sent over this really awesome backpack by the brand Burton. They sell a lot of like cool ski gear. So they sent this over and we're gonna bring it with us. And so this is gonna be my carry-on because it's pretty big. And my iPad, not my iPad, my laptop fits in here. So this is my carry-on and then I am gonna just check a bag just because it'll be easier that way so I won't have to worry about trying to like squeeze everything back into a carry-on when I get more stuff. So yeah, that's that. So that is everything that I've packed in my pack with me slash style with me. I hope you guys liked it. Maybe it gave you guys some outfit inspo, not even just for somewhere cold, but just somewhere if you guys wanna style different outfits. I know they were literally all neutral, but that's kind of like, oh, there's a fuzz. That's kind of like my vibe. Like I really feel most comfortable in those outfits and I'm very, very excited about this trip. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm gonna be posting tons of photos while I'm in Colorado. And you guys can also hit the red button down below and subscribe because I'm going to be posting a vlog from the trip, which I think is going to be so much fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.